But it was quite normal in those days for, to find material for artists by going to Tim Pen Alley and listening to all the publishers' wares. I mean, that was a regular part of my life. I would spend a long time looking for songs. And the songs I was looking for, for the Beatles, was really a hit song. It didn't matter, so long as it suited their, the group. And um, Love Me Do, as I say, was the best one they were able to offer. The kind of song I was looking for, I did actually find. And that was a song by Mitch Murray called How Do You Do It? And I was convinced this was a hit song. How do you do what you do to me? I wish I knew. If I knew Not a great piece of uh, songwriting, you know, it wasn't the most marvellous song I'd ever heard in my life, but I think, thought it had that essential element which would appeal to a lot of people. And we did record it. Um, John took the lead. How do you do what you do to me? I wish I knew. If I knew how you do it to me, I'd do it to you. George said, well, it's a number one song. You want a number one? This is it. We said, yeah, but we cannot go back up to Liverpool singing that. We cannot be seen with that song. So we never issued How Do You Do It? but I did later give it to Jerry and the Pacemakers, and it did become number one. How do you do what you do to me? I wish I knew. If I knew how you do it to me, I'd do it to you. So George Martin says, well, have you got anything you'd like to do? We said, uh, we've got a song called Please Please Me. This is one John had uh, just written, and it was kind of slow Roy Orbison kind of thing. Come on, jump, jump, come on, please, please me. Big nose at the end, just like Orbison. And I'd heard Roy Orbison doing Only the Lonely or something, and I was trying to please me, that's where that came from. And also, I was always intrigued by the words of please lend your little ears to my please, being Crosby songs. Mm -hmm. I was always intrigued by the, the double use of the word please. And I said, OK, we'll give it a whirl. Let's try your song. Let's see if it works. And we did. And at the end of that session, I was able to tell them, you've got your first number one. Great. 